Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just making a quick video here to show you guys my 75 gallon African cichlid tank, Lake Malawi cichlids. Posted a quick video up yesterday. I didn't talk about it or anything like that. I just wanted to kind of get a video out there and show you guys the tank, show you guys some of the fish that I have in here. And it's not fully stocked yet, but that's what I got going on so far. I got six yellow labs two ACIs and a red zebra right there like this guy right here this my Lomo I think is what they're called you got a Demasoni or Demasoni I you know I don't know how to pronounce half these fish but male Ariatus right there there's an Afra oh I can't wait for that guy to color up that guy's awesome an ACI right there. Got a peacock back there. He's hiding behind the rocks over there. This camera sucks. I apologize. It's not picking up really any of the colors and it's kind of fuzzy. But Hopefully I can get a new camera soon. <laughs> but Anyways, um, just want to talk to you guys a little bit about what type of equipment I got going on in the tank. Um, I guess I'll start out with the light fixture here. I've got the Aquatic Life LED strip light fixture. And this thing's awesome. I think I read that you can link up to four together. But, you know, with African cichlids, it's not necessary. This this one light fixture right here is plenty of light. And, you know, as you can see, it's even though this camera sucks, you can see it lights the tank up awesome. It, it's It's just it's a great light fixture and I'll try and pick up some of the shimmer that it puts out right there I think you can see it you can see it on the sand the camera stays in focus but it's an awesome light fixture I love LEDs you know it's it's a little bit more expensive since it's kind of a newer technology with you know keeping keeping aquariums but uh, you know, it's it's totally worth it. It's if you save up the money and get an LED fixture for your tank, it's you will love it. The shimmer effect is just so awesome. You know, it's it makes it look so natural, and it's pretty relaxing. So, as far as rocks, I went with lace rock. Uh, there's there's pretty much any type of rock, I guess, would work for cichlids as long as you you know stack it in a way where you've got a lot of caves and a lot of crevices for them to hide, but I chose lace rock just because there's so many different shapes and sizes that you can get, and it's easily stackable, I guess. You know, when making your hardscape, there's just a lot of different ways that you can set it up to get lots of caves and a lot of crevices. Like right there, that rock right there has just got a lot of holes in it, a lot of places for them to hide. Got some crevices right in here. It's awesome rock. I'd definitely recommend it to anybody looking to set up a new tank or change their current tank, just kind of get a new look to it. Lace rock is awesome. Female Ariatus right there. As far as filtration, go underneath the stand here. Um, I got two filters on here right now. I got um, the Marine Land, both of them Marine Land canister filters. Right here I got the uh, C360 as the main filter, and over here I got the C220 just as a secondary filter, you know, because cichlids are so messy and you, you kind of have to overstock the tank, so you need extra filtration. And I love these canister filters, you know, and the tanks that I've done in the past, I've always done the hang-on back filters, and there's nothing wrong with those, I, I love those too, those things work awesome, never had a problem with them. But the thing I really like about these canister filters is the return spout is underneath the surface of the water. So you don't get that splash that you sometimes get with the hang on back filters. And it's just, it's so quiet. And that's what I really love about it. So that's another thing, you know, in any tanks that I'll, that I'll do in the future, I'll always do canister filters. And again, I'm not knocking hang on back filters, but I love how quiet these canister filters are. Over here, I've got um, got something that's not really necessary in a cichlid tank. I've got a reef keeper. 
this is something that I used back when I did salt water and I didn't want to get rid of it because it was kind of a lot of money so I just figured you know what I'll use it on my cyclo tank it's not really necessary but I just think it's cool it kind of helps me keep track of my temperature and, and stuff like that and make sure the tanks not getting too hot or too cold it's pretty cool but anyway that's uh that's the basics of the tank uh, if you guys have any questions just uh just let me know and I'll try and you know answer them in a video or something like that or in a comment I'll be making more videos I'll probably be doing some more product reviews kind of go into more depth about these filters and you know possibly the lights and stuff like that so anyways yeah quick shot of some of these fish again I apologize for this camera and apologize for the video really this wasn't really a scripted video at all I just kinda just kinda shooting a video and talking about it so get a side view here Oh, and I guess I didn't talk about this, so I'll talk about this real quick. For circulation, I've got the uh, Corellia Evolution circulation pump, uh, 1,400 gallons per hour. It's probably a little too much with this tank, so I'm probably going to have to go with something smaller, but because it kind of kicks up some of the sand over here. As you can see, it's kind of gone below the edge there, but uh, I don't know. It seems to be doing all right. The only thing is it just kind of... It kind of makes a film up there, which I hate, which I, you know, have to constantly clean up, so. Other than that, it seems to be working good. It's not too powerful for the fish. They seem to love it. I've even seen them, you know, swim up right to the edge of the power head and trying to pick algae off and just swim in the current. So. Anyways, guys, that's 75-gallon tank, and uh, like I said, I'm, i got a lot more fish I'm going to put in here. Right now, I think I've got 17 or 18, and... I'm looking to get anywhere from 25 to 30 um, in here someday, so I will keep you guys updated on anything I change or anything I add or do whatever, so.